Welcome to chapter four. I'm Dr. Dai, and I will be introducing you to how cells obtain energy. Uh, this chapter explores the sources and types of energy used in living cells, how they obtain and utilize it, and the efficiency of cellular chemical reactions. We're gonna do this all while considering the principles of energy transfer and physical laws. All right, so energy is fundamental for all living organisms to power various tasks. They've got a bunch of different things they do, right? From physical activities, cognitive processes, and then your just base cellular functions. So cells constantly require energy import. Um, they have to constantly be bringing stuff in that they can then metabolize. Um, and then sometimes they're, depending on the organism and depending on the nutrient, um, we can synthesize some of our own nutrients in certain molecules, uh, plants in particular, right? Um, so doing all of this, we're performing a whole bunch of various different processes. Imagine your immune system is seeking out like pathogens, um, your individual cells are breaking things down and producing waste, cells are moving through your body, right? Uh, so just lots of stuff going on. Energy must constantly be fed into this system. Um, ultimately, most life forms are gonna get their energy from the sun in one way or another. Um, plants use photosynthesis to capture sunlight, and then herbivores eat the plants, and then carnivores eat the herbivores. And eventually, deep composition of plants and animals uh, contributes to the nutrient pool uh, feeding into what plants will uptake from the soil.